What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Sice, and I'm back today with another tutorial. And today I'm about to just be teaching y'all a simple freeze frame transition. This effect was requested from somebody in my Discord, but this was done by your boy Noah So Cold. I feel like this effect is fairly easy, you feel what I'm saying? But anyway, so in After Effects, as you guys can see, I did it already. Um, we're just gonna delete it. I'm, I'm just gonna delete this, you feel me? Let me just get rid of this, right? Just get rid of this. And let me just bring my clips to meet in the middle. So the goal of this is to pause before the clip ends and to start with a pause clip and then it'll start going, you know, once the transition is done. So let's make this transition about 18 frames. I'm gonna just come in between the middle of both of my clips and I'm gonna go back by pressing page up nine times. And then we could do the same thing going down. All right, so while we're here, right, let's let's cut this clip so we don't mess nothing up. And let's right click a second piece of footage real quick and let's just freeze that frame. So, you know, yeah, we chilling. So and right here, let's just freeze this so we could transition this out. Uh, freeze. And now let's get to masking. Let's just make a simple. I like how Noah So Cold is just very edgy. Like he's so edgy. I can't lie. He does some edgy shit. So these rotoscopes, sorry, these masks don't have to end out so uh so clean. So I'm just gonna make this mask around my subject. And once I make that mask around my subject, I'm just gonna pre-comp that. And I'm gonna go every like three frames. Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna mask out my subject. And every two frames, I'm gonna move. All right. So now let's just make a mask. Right. Every mask you make. Since this is a freeze frame, you know, you don't have to track it or anything like that, but you just you just want to give it some rigid edges. So for this first one, we're just going to cut off the top of his forehead, make a little rigid edge to the top of his head. And let's hit M and let's subtract. Feel me? And now let's oh wait, let's 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 make this a little more head rigid. This little curve. And now let's let's repeat that process until our entire subject is gone. And then for this one, he should be gone. But you know, I'm just gonna have like a little tiny one so we could get a little building effect, like a, a build up for real. So now you got, boom, he's cutting himself out. And this one, we'll start with a very small rectangle in the bottom. And then let's do a rigid edge over his chest area, maybe in between the cup and stuff. Yeah, let's cut through that cup. And boom, he's back in. If you just pre-comp these, you could pre-comp these. Pre-comp them. Feel me? Pre-comp these. And now let's bring them close to each other. And now let's just add a drop shadow. This drop shadow. Oh yeah, yeah, we winning. And let's just copy this and paste this onto the next one. Let's see how this looks. Yeah. So, um, all right now. So with that crop effect done, let me just show you guys how to do this little background. All right. So now that I have these images, I'm gonna just bring these in here. Right. And let's just bring them in and let's make them the same duration as our clip real quick. Well, as our transition, I'm so sorry. Trim those down. Let's delete those bad boys and let's delete that unnecessary shape layer. I'm gonna bring this down here and I'm just gonna go into that pre comp. Pre compose, move all attributes. And now I'm going to do things like size up these images and stretch them out to the way I want. I'm gonna scale them to a specific height, right? Come to the middle. I'm gonna scale these to a specific height. You know what I'm saying? 
Mind you, I'm just trying to do something random because I don't have shots to match those images, you know, but, but I'm going to show how show you how to get the grungy looking stuff. So now that you got that, you want to pre-compose all of these in their own pre-comps, move all attributes. And now you want to add a motion to help every last one of them. And when you add a motion tile, make the output width and height 200. Sorry, for all of them. And then we're just going to add an offset. And for the one at the bottom, we're going to make it go to the right. We're going to make this one go left. So hit the stopwatch on shift, cent shift center 2. And we're just going to move this one over to the right. I'm so sorry. And then we could just copy this first one the first offset effect and just drop it on the top image. And now we got that similar look. We can also do things like, let's make these 3D layers and let's add a camera. And just to give it that depth, we could do that. We could just come in here like this. Press C a couple times and then, and now we could do things like adding another, add an adjustment layer. Let's add a posterized top. I'm gonna change it to eight. You feel me? So now when you change it to eight, it gives you that little glitchy look, you feel me? And now add posterize time to your last clip and your beginning clip, you know what I'm saying? So control shift D, you know, add posterize time, like David Kiss. And you can uh, complement these effects by now adding things like all right, let's add an adjustment layer and let's put film convert on that. And if you don't have film convert, you could do things like use a regular grain. But film convert is really that thing. But you know, I'm just gonna add some more grain. I'm, I'm gonna add some more stuff to it just to give y'all more of a, a grungy look. And on that bottom clip, you can add a radial blur. And if not that, you can add a directional blur. Either one is good. I like how radio blur looks, but I believe inside the video that he's using directional blur. If he's not, feel me? Or if no, if you see this, you feel like I'm not the type of person to be like, you know, you know, I, I'm not taking initiative, you feel me? You could definitely tell me what you got going on here because people is asking and they definitely want to know. But yes, you feel me? Honestly, I really think that's it for this VFX. Yeah, man. If y'all enjoyed this, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to be back with more tutorials. If you want me to do a full breakdown on this video, I will. I'm just going to add this in there. And you feel me? Give y'all a full plate to eat. But other than that, man, I'm out of here. Good night. Love y'all niggas. It's mad late. Peace the fuck out.